This is the main room that I want the portal to take place. And I want that door frame to be the gateway. Uh, how many people will you need for this? Oh, don't worry about that. I have four friends that are going to help me with this. Oh, okay. Uh, can I ask who they are? They are Lucas, Connor, Lance, and Ronald. Oh, okay. So when will they be here? I don't know. We're supposed to organize this place so it can be ready by tomorrow. Why do you have to finish by Tuesday? What do you mean Tuesday? You said you have to finish by tomorrow, so Tuesday. Oh, no, my bad. It's supposed to be by Monday, so today. Oh, okay. Um, one last question. What is your goal here? Oh, okay. This world is getting pretty cramped. New life is being brought every day. Plants, animals, people. The amount keeps increasing. I need to find a way out of that problem. I need to find room to breathe, and for that, I believe of an empty planet. A planet closer to you than you expect, and I finally found that place. I just need to get there now and see if it's safe. Imagine how it would be like to have another planet. It would- Oh, I'm so sorry, um, I'm out of time. Uh, so I will tell you the information about this room for your needs, so have a nice day. They're not here. Might as well get something done. Why is there even a piano here? Are they even coming? Well, that was fun. Hey, Sebastian, uh, this place looks different. What took you guys so long? We went to go get some drinks. Is this your room? Um... Is it actually? I didn't have enough money for a different building. You had to pay to build in your own room? No, and that's the best part. Free room. So, what do you want us to do? Obviously, help me with my project. Is this supposed to be red? What do you mean? Oh, does the color matter? No, if the coding is correct, you're fine, but... Okay, so it's fine. Okay. Everyone to your stations. Where's my laptop? Oh, uh, I only brought three. I thought you guys were gonna bring your own, so... Looking too enthusiastic, I guess.
How much time until it's ready? In about five minutes. Can it go by faster? I could open it now, but... Okay, so open it. Jeez, why are you in such a rush? <laughs> uh, let's just say this isn't legal. Wait, what? Yeah, it's gonna require a lot of energy to make a door that I can fit in. I tried to get permission from the president, but I asked too early that I didn't have a plan. All I did was present with a whiteboard and they didn't take me seriously. They neglected my idea and now I'm doing this in secret and hopefully I can get this done before they show up to my door. Why didn't you tell us this before? It's open, but not for long. No, 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 no. Don't ignore my question. You're involving us in what could cost us jail time. Sebastian, remember the coding was red? Yeah, what about it? Something is going wrong and I don't know how to stop it. Sebastian Light, we know you're in there. Open up or we'll enter by force. Sebastian, they have us surrounded. You guys can't be serious. You guys are actually going to help them? We got you cornered. There's nowhere for you to run. No, no, don't. Sebastian, you can't do this. It's unstable right now. Sebastian. If you go there, you're leaving us with the cops. I'll be back. Put your hands where I can see them. Is it only the four of you? Uh... Yes. Oh. Oh. It's night already? At least they clean this place up to how it was before. Huh, I thought this door would teleport me. Hold on. I made it. I made it. Uh, oh. Day one, I have arrived in the other world. It looks exactly like home. There's no electricity here, so I have no way of communication. I haven't been here long, so I don't know if there's a weather difference or a time difference. I will continue my investigation. Now, is there a way to get food here?
find anything useful. I'm looking through the computers and I found some red coding. Is that bad? Normally no, but this one is different. The color just brought my attention to it and I noticed that their coding was so that after the portal closed, all information will be deleted. Hmm. I'll be there soon. Why are all four of you wearing the same thing? It's our uniform. But I can't tell you guys apart. I don't look like them. All four of you look exactly the same. I find that pretty offensive. How do you tell each other apart? Easy. Lucas is the guy with glasses. Connor's the second guy with glasses. Lance is the third guy with glasses. And I'm the guy with the red shirt. Don't you officers also have uniforms? We do, and we had the same issue of identifying each other. Chief just refers to us by pointing and saying you. Is your chief going to be here? He said he'd be here at 5 o'clock. What time is it? 5 o'clock. So I'm on time, I see. What information did you get out of them? Nothing at all. And where's Sebastian? Which one of them is Sebastian? The only one who wasn't wearing a red shirt. Oh, uh, they were the only ones that I found there. I sent someone in to check for clues, but they found nothing. Ronald, Lucas, come with me. Lance and Connor, stay here. You don't have to raise your hand. I'm sorry. Um, sir, how do you know our names? You four are the only people that Sebastian has worked with. Chief? Where did you just get that paper from? After Sebastian visited the president with his whiteboard, the president informed us that if there was a large power outage to hunt Sebastian. Not just because it was suspicious, but because he had five major strikes before, and this is getting really ridiculous. We've been working with a criminal? And since he hasn't been found yet, none of you will be allowed to leave this house until Sebastian is caught. Do you have scientists that will open the portal? Yes. You four will help us open the portal because no one has ever done it before and succeeded. You can just click enter on the laptop that I was using and then it would open. One of my officers has looked into your laptop and the red coating deleted everything in it. It took us years to get where we were. Well, nobody is leaving this house until Sebastian Light is caught, even if it takes 10 years. Day 8. I have solved my water issue. In this world, my house does not have a way to get water. There are still seasons here, and luckily it rains. I got what I can to store the water. I have tried going outside, and the air isn't too good. It doesn't hurt, but over an hour or two, it does leave me fatigued and high risk of illness. If this were to be a second home to us, we would have to adapt to this environment. Food supply is no problem. 
There are no animals, but my main food source never runs out mysteriously. It always goes back to how it was before. By now my phone would have run out of battery. Lightning strikes this house sometimes, but the house does not take damage from it. I have used the outlets to charge my phone when I can. I will continue my investigation. That is all for today, and goodbye. Day 14. I wonder if I'll be able to go home. I thought that by now I would find an exit and sit on my couch. The inside of my house gets pretty boring, so I leave this place for a bit and have a job. Because of the atmosphere, I can't leave this place without a mask and can only have a 10 minute jog at most. Day 32. I have received a fever and I can't leave the house. It's been about a month now and I hope I'll be home soon. The house feels pretty empty and I can hear the wind from downstairs clearly. This place is starting to feel different. Day 60. Before I have only been talking to this recorder. Now I talk to myself out loud and the echo of the room makes me feel like I'm not alone now. Day 87. It rained yesterday and I forgot to fill my containers of water. Day 150, I think. The food I'm tasting doesn't feel like anything now. I have been thinking of my job and this world. Why am I here again? Day 210. I was expecting a beer by now, but I haven't gotten anything. Wow. Day 294. Huh. I just realized that my name, Sebastian, sounds like a butler. I simply will be one hell of a butler. <laughs> Day 400, it's been two years now and it's felt like five. Still have no beer though. Day 531. How's the portal going, boys? Great, amazing, we're almost done, you know. Wow, congrats, guys. Uh, I thought it was gonna take you three years. I was joking, the original took us five years and a half. How do you expect us to finish in one? Oh, uh, hurry up then, I wanna go home. Ronald, do you have any progress of undoing the red coating? A little, I found out that it wasn't a mistake. It was placed on purpose. Who had the laptop first? Me, but the coding was already red, so I think Sebastian put it there. But why? Why would he delete his work? If he's trying to spread humanity to that other one, why will he delete the information to get to there? Sebastian told me a week before the incident that he saves his file into a flash drive in case they try canceling his project. Maybe that's why he put in the red coding? Okay, but where's the flash drive? Wouldn't they have found it by now? He had it in his pocket when he went through the portal. Then why are we still trying to get him back if he has the solution? The portal isn't a door that he can go in and out. The flash drive that he saved is for like the entrance, so he can only go in, but he can't come out. It's like a door that locks up behind you. He needs us to make the exit, just like he needed us to make the entrance. It would help if we can communicate with him. Hmm. Ronald, is there a way to communicate with Sebastian? There might be a way for us to watch him, but I don't know about actually communicating with him. Okay, okay, we're making progress here. Wait. Where's Lucas? Lucas couldn't handle being locked up in here for too long, so he tried escaping. They caught him, so they just locked him up to calm him down. Let me out! Let me out! I'm innocent! I didn't know he was a criminal! Is... is that blood? Huh. How come it took us a year and a half to think about this?
Chief, the guys are still there, and Lucas is still locked up. Are they almost done? No, they are not, sir. They said that the original took them five years, so it might take them a while. Are they able to speed things up? I don't think so, sir. Is there a reason why you want them to hurry up? Take a seat. The world on the other side is empty, right? Like, no life, no animals, just a copy of this one, but empty? I believe so. When I was younger, I always wanted to be a chef. But my father kept saying, Son, this world is filled with crime, and when you're older, you're gonna stop that crime. Was he a superhero? No, but he wanted to. Then why was he a cop? Because his father said the same thing. Anyways, he ignored my chef dream and I became chief. He was right about crime being everywhere, and guess what I answer? Judging that you said you're chief now, I'm assuming you? Me. If the world where Sebastian is has no crime, then it's a peaceful place. Nobody will have to tell me what to do. I can be whoever I want to be. Sure, I won't be able to cook for anyone, but at least I won't be pressured to be chief. Once they find a way to get Sebastian back, I want you to confiscate the work and say that it's too dangerous for them and it's gonna be handed to the government. Do you actually want me to give it to the government? No, bring it to me. Don't tell the others. We're gonna open up the portal. I'm gonna go to the other side and I want you to close it and destroy the evidence. I was gonna do this alone, but now I'm glad that you're helping me. Oh, okay, but this might take a few years. Day 573. I don't know if this world has a calendar system, but back home... Where I was from, there was a calendar with 12 months and 7 days of the week. It appears that in this world, there are one or two more days. I wonder what they're going to be called. This is Sebastian Light. And I bid you farewell. Back then, I remember such a hassle to solve one of those. You were a puzzle to many, my friend. But not for everyone. There were some people that learned the pattern and learned how to solve it. From there, they made 3x3x3s, 2x2s, 23x23x23. I remember in grade school I was addicted to solving you without any help. I bought my own, I unscrewed it so I can even move faster in it, and I learned how to solve it. From there on I named it Richard the Rubik's Cube. Good memories. But then I left it in the house and I moved out so I forgot about it. Hey, you're actually a good listener. Actually, you kind of look like Richard. Well, I guess you are Richard, just like from this world. So, I guess I'll call you Richard. Day 537. I know I already made a recording today, but I made a new friend. Richard the Rubik's Cube. Now I don't feel so alone. Now I actually feel like I'm talking to someone. This is Sebastian Light and Richard, and we bid you farewell.
Richard, do you know how to play chess? And done. You found a way for us to see what Sebastian is doing? Yeah, come look. Richard, where I came from, there were about four people that I trusted. Yeah, I remember their names clear as day. Uh, Ricky, Louis, Leo, and... Sydney. Who's Sydney? Yeah, over there was just like here, except the air was actually breathable, and there was more life than just trees. There was actually moving creatures. I thought that by now they'd bring me back, but I guess not. But hey, at least you're not alone anymore. Is there a way for us to talk to him? No, seeing him is all I can do for now. He doesn't even know we're watching him. But the bright side is that now we can see him and we're one step closer. Now all we need to do is contact him and bringing him back will be downhill. Chief, I just overheard him saying that they're making progress. Good. Go in and pressure them. Say that if they don't finish that they will be arrested since they were involved with the criminal. Okay. So boys, how's progress going with the whole portal thing? We're doing great now. We can actually see what he's doing now after a year of work. Oh, excellent. Seems like my thread from last time actually worked. What thread? Oh, you know, since you helped Sebastian and caused the power outage the size of Mexico, you guys are considered criminals. And if you don't turn him in, you guys are actually going to get arrested instead. So hurry up at it. Oh, hey, they let you out. Yeah, finally. They forgot I was down there and turned off the lights. Once they heard my scream, they remembered they had to let me free. Well, I told your friends the bad news, so good luck. I'm gonna go get some tea. Oh, hey, Lucas, you're finally free. Guys? Look, we're now able to see what Sebastian's doing. Guys, I just bumped into the police officer on my way up here, and he said he told you bad news. What was the bad news? So since we helped Sebastian with his experiment, we're also considered criminals. And if we don't turn him in, we're the ones who are going to get arrested instead. You okay? This is some good tea. Day 685. Um, yesterday I was actually playing hide and seek with Richard and... Uh,
Sure. Sure. I I think I'm stuck. Let's just say I won. Are we finally able to get Sebastian back? No, we're not able to send anything in there. The portal's too small because we can't put too much energy in there. How come we can't make it bigger? We did it last time. Well, last time the siren went off as a warning. A warning of what? That it was about to explode. But it didn't. Yeah, because he barely managed to make it in on time. The white light was supposed to be the start of the explosion. Then we get him in and out quickly. Easy, since last time he just stood there for a bit. The issue with that is that we're the only ones who can see it. He won't know when or where it will be. The small hole is so that we can inform him. Sebastian, can you hear me? It's Connor. Richard, I think I'm hearing voices again. Guys, I think I heard Sebastian. Um, Sebastian, we're gonna bring you back. Uh, follow where my voice is. Where? Exactly where the door is. Right here? Ronald, is he in front of the door? I I don't know. Let me see. Sebastian, are you close to the door? Yes, I think so. Okay, we're getting close to freeing you. Just give us another year or so. But what if I don't want to leave? What did he just say? I said, what if I don't want to leave? I got everything I need here. Food, water, company by Richard. I can live here. The government isn't after me, and plus, you guys are free. I wonder how the cops went for you guys, but... Now you don't have to be involved with my problems. Sebastian, because of you, we're considered criminals now. We haven't left your house in almost two years, and I want to go home. We will get arrested if we don't turn you- <laughs> Sebastian, remember why you went there in the first place? To escape from the cops? No, it was because you wanted to spread humanity in case the world was going to get too cramped. You've been there long enough to know what's happened there. We need you to come back so we can find a way to help humanity. Sebastian, we need you to... Hey, how's the work going, boys? Hello? Are you guys still there? Richard, I'm gonna have to go back, but I'm not leaving you. You're coming with me. You just ruined the only way we can communicate with him. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry guys, uh, can you guys talk to him? No, because that took a lot of energy. Oh, that's tough. Um, I'm gonna go tell Chief you guys are almost done. Is it like a battery that can recharge? Actually, yeah, but we don't need that anymore. Now that we have a way to talk to them, we just need to make it bigger so it's possible to transport him. Chief, it seems like they're getting closer. They can now talk to Sebastian. About how long will it take for them to finish? I don't know, but it looks like almost. So now I can finally go home. We haven't left this house? W was I able to? Yeah, only the four of them couldn't leave this place. Haven't you seen me leave? No? Go home. I guess I'll wash them for a while. Oh, okay. Can I keep the mug? Sure. Yay.
day 841. It's been a while since I had a contact with the people I knew. Because of that, I'm not so sure if I want to leave this place. It would be nice to go back to the place I once called home, where the air didn't try to kill me every time I go outside. But they said the cops are still after them. Would it be best to just stay here where the cops can't reach me? Don't look at me like that. You know as well as I do, it's not safe over there. Yeah, I guess it would be fun to go outside and have some fun. But that'll only last for a few minutes since I'll get arrested. Don't say they're your friends. You're the only friend I need. Oh well, yeah, what was Leo trying to say? Sebastian, because of you, we're considered criminals now. We haven't left your house in almost two years, and I want to go home. We will get arrested if we don't turn you- <laughs> Hmm. Now, nah, I don't think they're being kept as hostages and we'll get arrested if I don't turn myself in. Richard, you might actually be right about that. But if that were to be true, they would have told me. Richard, you're right. They wouldn't tell me because they knew I wouldn't go back. So they're sacrificing themselves by not telling me, meaning they care about me. I need to go back immediately. Hey, are you guys almost done? Wake up. Huh? 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 Are you guys almost done? No, we're not. Just like last time, it's gonna require a lot of energy, but we're gonna need more for this one. It's harder to bring him back than to put him in. This time we might actually need enough energy to power Canada. Well, that's fine. Really? Yeah, just do what you gotta do and bring him back. Wait, there's something suspicious about this. What do you mean? He's given us permission. Yeah, he just gave us permission to commit a crime. He didn't even think about this. Act natural. They don't know your plan specifically. Oh, I already knew you guys needed a lot of energy to get Sebastian back. That's why I asked the president in advance. Genius. That way, if they find out about my plan, they'll be considered criminals for committing another crime, and I'll be off the hook. 
See, we're free to use enough energy to bring him back. Hmm. Okay, I guess. Um, Chief, can you close the door? Sure. Wow, is that how it was last time? Yeah, just this time we don't have cops trying to stop us. Um, Chief, can you go next to Ronald where Sebastian can't see you? Why? Because he might rethink coming over here if he sees a cop waiting for him on the other side. Oh, okay. Where is Sebastian located right now? So, how are you guys going to lure Sebastian to the door? Okay, so if you knock on the door, he'll be able to hear it. I gave it an upgrade. Richard, were you knocking on the door? What just happened? It was on and then it turned off. We only have enough energy for the door to be closed. If it's open, then we need more energy. Plus, even more since we're transferring a human being. Why don't you use some more? Well, if we use more energy... The door will explode and we will be back to square one. This door can only take a certain amount of energy, like a balloon, or else it will pop. Hmm... Did he hear me? Wait, that's Morris Code. still there, Mysterious Knocking, but... Can you repeat that one more time? Lance, repeat that one more time. We're here to help. Wait. Sebastian, remember why you went there in the first place? I need to go back home.
Um, what should I do? Does he have the USB drive near? Yeah, it's on the table lamp next to him. Okay, so the program is running. Normally this would open the door, but there isn't enough energy here. Only enough to charge your phone at slow speed. So, what now? This is actually really good. Now that he has the side of the portal running, then we can use the energy from our side and the small amount of energy from his side to add up. Enough so it won't explode, but then stabilize it. All is going according to plan. I almost have my utopia. Richard, are we finally going to go home? What happened this time? I don't know. He, everything seemed in order. Maybe he twisted it the wrong way? Do you think doorknob direction matters in something this big? I, I don't know. This is weird. It should have worked. I calculated the amount of energy it would take for a human being to transfer back to the real world. Then why isn't it working? What about a human and a Rubik's Cube? Does a small Rubik's Cube even matter in this big of a situation? No, Lance, I think he's right. Even if it is just a Rubik's Cube, it's a Rubik's Cube from over there. It takes a different amount of energy to bring back an object that's originated from over there to over here. Well, just leave the cube then. I can't leave Richard behind. It's not gonna work. Richard, I... I can't bring you where I'm going. I'm... I'm sorry. I wish I could say that I'll see you again, but the cops are after me and I don't know how long I'm gonna be in prison for. I had fun these past few years. We did so much, but now I have to go. Goodbye, Richard. Hey, you're actually a good listener. 
Day 537. I know I already made a recording today, but I made a new friend. Richard the Rubik's Cube. This is Sebastian Light and Richard, and we bid you farewell. Did it work? I don't hear anything. Sebastian? Sebastian, are you okay? Is there a way? A way for what? To bring Richard here. Who's Richard? The cube you told me to leave behind. Sebastian, this is all that we were able to do. Bringing an object from what was there is impossible. I'm sorry. So you guys made your choice. Sebastian Light, you are under arrest. Head downstairs and we will continue there. Does he have the USB with him? Yeah, luckily he didn't leave it behind. Okay, I will see you all downstairs. Is he going to tell Sebastian that it was either us or him? Oh no. Oh hey, it's been a while. So Chief said that the four of you will wait in the living room while they talk stuff over. I assume you have the flash drive with everything about the portal in it. Yes. Good, so hand it over to me. What are you going to do with it? Well, since this caused a large blackout, larger than the one that we can explain, we will have to take the work into this into research to see if it holds any value for us. And as for you, you are going to jail for causing a blackout and enveloping four innocent workers into doing this project with you. At first, it was only going to be five years, but since you made us wait this long, it's going to be a lot longer, I assume. Can I ask something? Go ahead. Please don't punish the other four. It's what Richard would have wanted. Who's Richard? My friend. The one that you told me to leave behind. 
if possible, can you also find a way to bring him here? I don't think we're going to be doing that. Now, if you excuse me, I'll be leaving with this. So how'd you guys manage to save him? You sure did take your time. Where do you think you're going? Wait. Dad, what are you doing here? Well, one of my workers has been missing for two years. I called him and he said he had to isolate Sebastian Light and four of his co-workers. He also said that he was going to get the USB drive from their work and give it to the government for safety. Yeah, well, I... Is that the USB drive in your hand? Yes... Okay, so hand it over. What's the meaning of this? I'm about to be free. So, what happened here? Do they have another USB drive where they store their data? I'm not sure, I'm gonna go check. Hey guys, do you have another USB for the portal? No! Nope, they only had one. Why? Well, I got good news for you boys. You boys are free to go and have no punishment. Finally, I can go home! But what would happen to Sebastian? He did commit a crime. He did, but he's also been alone for a while. We will keep an eye on him and get some doctors to help him recover. Do you have anything from over there? Yes. That's a lot. How did you manage to fit it all in this thing? In the first week I was there, I adjusted my phone so I can fit a lot more in it, but I couldn't fit every day in it. Day 340. Today I tried to go further out into this world to see if I could find anyone. I didn't make it far and I had to head back home. Are you gonna take that as well? Send me a copy of the recordings. We're leaving. I'm sorry you had to leave your friend behind. We couldn't find a way to bring both of you back. 
What's this? You've documented your experience? I did around 300 recordings in there. Day eight, I have tried going outside. Day 32, I have received a fever. Day 150, I think the food I'm tasting doesn't feel like anything now. Day 200. Day 321. Day 537, I have made a new friend, Richard the Rubik's Cube. Sebastian, with this we might actually be able to bring Richard back. I made it. And I'm not going back. <coughs> For what? I haven't done anything. That's what they all say. Mm -hmm. Your lies aren't gonna work with me. How many people have you interrogated? So tell me, why have you been stealing? I haven't stolen anything in my life. Oh, hey. Are you going to be continuing with your plan? Yes, everything is going as I said. Remember your goal. Hello, it's me. I'm going to need your help. Sebastian is about to call you for help. I want you to get rid of the work and save it. Understood. Okay, great. Bye, Lance. Well, that was fun. Hey, Sebastian, this place looks different. Chief, apparently he saved his work before I got rid of it. Okay, just act natural. We'll figure this out. Okay. Also, the chief is gone. Why do you still want information about that other world? Because that place isn't just empty.